Welcome to the iRule Wizard Quick Start Guide. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through setting up your first remote control using the iRule Handset Wizard. The first time that you log into Builder, you'll see the user licensing agreement. Simply click Agree and you'll be taken to step one of the Handset Wizard. In step one, you'll start by choosing which platform and device you'll be using, iOS or Android. For this tutorial, we'll be using the iOS platform, so go ahead and click Next. Now in step two, we'll select the handset or device that we're going to use as our remote control. You'll see not only the names of the devices, but also notice the screen's resolutions are listed. If you have a device that you don't see listed, you'll want to find the device's screen resolution and choose one that matches. A popular one to point out as an example is the iPad mini. It's not listed, however it has the same screen resolution as the iPad at 1024 by 768. That's the resolution that we'd want to use. Go ahead and click next. In step three, we're going to select a theme for our remote. Here you can see what a remote looks like with a brushed metal theme. Now let's look at the white gloss theme. And finally, here's the black gloss theme. We're going to go ahead and use this one for our demonstration. Click next and we'll begin to build the handset. On to step four, here we'll need to tell iRule what activities and devices we want to control in the system. The activities that you see here will contain the codes for the devices or pieces of equipment that are part of the activity. For instance, in the watch movie activity, we'll be controlling a Blu-ray player. So if you aren't sure about what an activity is, just remember that the activity will contain the device codes you'll need to control the pieces of equipment that are associated with the activity. We can always add more activities later, but this is a great spot for us to kind of get started. Go down and check all of the activities that apply. For our tutorial, we'll select all of them. Feel free to only check the ones that you'll need, but we want to show you what each one does when it's assigned. We'll choose Watch Movie, Watch TV, Apple TV, Roku, Music, and Lighting. In the fifth step of Wizard, we need to select which specific devices we'll be controlling with the remote. This is where we'll select the codes to be placed within our activities that we selected in the fourth step. Let's start with cable, so let's click Assign, and this will bring up the cable devices search. Let's scroll down to Motorola Cable DCT, All Models, click on the box next to the device, and click Assign. Now, if we're using satellite instead of cable, we could simply change the type from cable to satellite, and then enter the vendor of our satellite system. Then click on Filter, and it'll show us all the satellite device codes that are available. Now, you can see that our cable device has been assigned in the window. Let's go down to Blu-ray and repeat the same process that we just finished for the cable device. This time with a Panasonic Blu-ray player, all models, and click Assign. Just like with cable, if we're using something else such as a DVD player or a VCR, we could change the type and search for the device that we want to control. Our next device is our Apple TV, which is already assigned, so we'll move on to our receiver. We'll scroll down for an Integra, and our receiver happens to have an IP control, so we'll select the proper device codes and again click Assign. Now we can see that our Roku device has already been assigned, so we can move on. However, I want to point out that if we had had a different media device in our system, we could go ahead and click Remove and then click Assign, and we'd be taken to the device's search page. So just keep that in mind when building your remotes. You always have the ability to substitute a device by clicking Remove and then Assign. Now let's assign our TV. We'll scroll down until we find our Panasonic TV. We'll be using the IR code, so check that box and assign the device. And lastly, let's assign our CD player. We'll scroll down and find the Sony CD PCX CD player. Check the box and click Assign. Now you can see all of our devices have been assigned, so we can go ahead and move on. In step six, we need to tell iRule which devices we're going to be using for volume control, as well as which devices we're going to be using the video switching. For this tutorial, we're going to use our Integra receiver for both. If you're going to be using the switching on both devices, we can always make those changes later on once we're done with the wizard. But a good rule of thumb is that if you have a receiver in the system set up, go ahead and use that as your switching device because we can always add TV input selection later. On to the seventh step of wizard. We'll tell the system where we have connected each of our pieces of equipment to each input on the switching device, which in this case is the Integra receiver. For Watch Movie, we'll choose Input DVD. For Apple TV, Input Game TV. Watch TV, Input Cable Sat. Music, Input CD. Roku, Hidden One. And if you need any help in this step, click the question icon next to any of the sources. 
Once you're done, click Next. Now you can see a summary of the entire project. If you scroll down, you'll see what device code is associated with each device and what input you have assigned each activity. Check here to make sure everything is there. In the top right corner, you can see a print icon. Click the icon for a detailed printout of the entire project. This is a really nice feature because you can print it out and either keep it for your records or hand it off to someone that's going to be doing the connecting of equipment should you be programming the system ahead of time. A word of caution here, this is the only place that you'll be able to get this summary and print it out, so we recommend going and printing each one just in case. Our last and final step is to click Finish. This will begin building our remote. Now you're wrapped up with the wizard. You can see all of your controllable devices in the main window of Builder and your device activities are ready to go in the Portrait Pages window. If you need further instruction or help with anything iRule, head over to the support page at iruleathome.com.